going on everybody so I have realized that um, we are stronger than we think and the reason being and why I say that is because uh, sometimes we want to do something uh, but we don't but there's certain things that could happen that we find out we can do it like for example I'm fat as hell and you know I'm not as strong as I used to be and if you were to tell me Mike how about you go ahead and take 30 pounds and you walk around you know London and go upstairs downstairs and you carry that 30 pound weight um, throughout London going down up and down the subways and all that I would tell you you're crazy there's no way I'm gonna do that and there's no way I can do that and then obviously as you guys know what where I'm getting at that 30 pound weight was Christopher and as you can see him behind me when he knocks out when we were on vacation I'm the one that had the duty of making sure obviously to carry him everywhere and keep in mind he always had like like jet lag and it was always in the middle of us going out and going somewhere and you have to keep in mind I'm not complaining about it and what I'm trying to basically tell you guys mind over matter is a big thing and you'd be surprised what you could do uh, when you put your mind to it a lot of the things that we fail to do is not because of other people it's because of us keeping ourselves from from actually doing it so if you guys ever feel that you are not going to be able to do something because you can't or whatever it's probably not true you're just not pushing yourself in and that is what happens with life now with your life if it's not becoming the way you would like it then you probably haven't pushed yourself hard enough to get to that point where you're I hate to say it deserving of the rewards you know and see for me no matter how hard the shop got and no matter how crazy everything got I always knew that I put myself in that position and I have to get myself out of it one way or the other and you know a little bit of it is happening and I get to kind of see from the outside looking in now because I work from home and I realize that a lot of my failures in the past wasn't necessarily you know ever to blame for other people but for me because if you if you just take control of what you have to do and you take control of what responsibilities you have no matter how big or small it is and you take blame then you're gonna get better because the problem right now is a lot of people would say well you know what like let's just say my 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 industry well the pay job looked like shit because this guy didn't prep it properly well if you're the painter and you see that it's all fucked up why'd you paint it if you're the body guy and you see that we need to replace a part then why don't tell the boss if you're the boss then why did you quality check and see everything accountability is really important and I think that's one thing that some people don't really understand and when it comes down to it when you are are putting yourself accountable for the failures and success that is around you then you're gonna be able to somewhat gauge how much more you have to work and if you can't then let me know I'll be more than happy to uh, talk to you and figure out and see where you're at in your life and you tell me where you want to be and I'll give you a realistic uh, 
let's say view of everything and, 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 and see where you could be because it's like saying you make zero money you have no job you you have no resume no experience and you want to buy a house right now well I'm sorry to say this it's not gonna happen you set goals you set you know you, you set attainable goals and then once you get those you add to it it becomes bigger and bigger and bigger until you see that you just start growing and becoming better like for example I had a hard time managing eye designs and um, sooner later sooner later I ended up I don't know I kept adding businesses and stuff I wanted to do and I had a hard time managing all of them so I went to the basics and one thing led to another and I adapted I got better and fun started uh, money started coming in and then here we are now uh, and I feel that I could micromanage a lot of businesses or concepts or items without hesitation I guess and that's for everybody everybody could do that you just don't know that you're doing it because sometimes you're doing really good at certain aspects of your life but you're failing in others and you don't realize the thing that you're really doing well in is because you figured out the way to make that work. And all you gotta do is figure out how to make the other stuff work. And there you are. You're gonna go ahead and move forward. And so when it comes down to it, you have to make sure you put your mind to it. Just like how I was mentioning at the beginning of this video that you go ahead and uh, take that, you know, that ordeal of carrying my son all over London basically and knowing like you know he's tired I'm not gonna want him to just wake up and and imagine at certain times if you've been to London and you've been to the escalators and stuff those things are very steep and so when it comes down to it putting him in the stroller taking him out of the stroller was a little bit harder than just carrying him the whole time so and you wanted, I wanted him to rest. And if I kept putting him in and out of the stroller, it's kind of hard to rest. So I had to kind of decide, okay, you know what? I'm going to carry him, let him get his rest so that uh, he could hopefully wake up sooner. And then uh, we could go ahead and enjoy the vacation. Now, when it came down to it, you know, it worked out. You know, uh, I learned from that and I noticed that if you go ahead and put yourself in a position... Uh, to, to uh, succeed then you are going to definitely do it and make it if you really put your mind to it you know and it's kind of corny you know when they say oh that, that one guy that says if you want to succeed as much as you want to breathe as weird as that sounds it's really true some people I know in my life right now you know they continuously hustle and they it's just amazing how persistent and repetitive gains, no matter how small it might be, is always gonna overcome natural talent, for example. I have natural talent, I feel. Everything I try to do, I can technically do real well. But the problem for me is that the sustaining that and continuously doing it is another thing. So I made sure that I hired people that could sustain and keep the repetitiveness the everyday to day life grind while I obviously build and continue to build for everybody because for me it's hard for me to what keep building and building you know Thomas does that and I appreciate that um, Eddie and, and Manny continuously uh, do cars every single day me I can't do that I did that before I guess with eye designs when I used to do cars every single day, day in and day out. Um, and I think the reason why I can't do it now is not necessarily that I can't, is that I really don't want to uh, build anything where I'm stuck at my business. I want to make sure, like for example, my guys got COVID. One of them, two of them got COVID. Not at the same time, you know. What was my protocol? Oh, 
you have symptoms okay sad to say everybody go home you get you all get paid and you have to keep in mind like certain of my guys get paid good money and I tell them okay you know what I'll figure it out but you guys all get paid just get better come back I don't want everybody to get um, contagious and kind of share it everybody in a bad way but you know what I had faith that I was gonna be able to do it because of the the, the problems I had in the past and those problems weren't as were worse than the COVID thing because this time I had funds to allocate to pay them compared to before I didn't have funds at all and vehicles weren't done being done on time and it was just it was hard I kept having to take loans so imagine if you knew what I've been through with the shop and how it became what it is now then I will tell you definitely you can do anything you want to do and I'm here to help and I want to help and I want to literally tell everybody like hey you know what what are your struggles what things are going on in your life that you're having a hard time on and I've been through a lot of pretty crazy stuff and I would like to help because you know what the world is filled with some angry people and I used to be one of them and not saying it, I'm not saying it went away but it's somewhat controlled a little bit because I'm kind of seeing a bigger picture where happiness and and being appreciative being just naturally happy for for people is is just the way to go compared to how I used to be where I would be envious I would be upset I would be you know whatever if you knew me back then I'm not denying who I was you know what I mean because that's who I was and who you are now doesn't mean that's who you're gonna be tomorrow you can make a enlightenment and realize that life is better when you're happy and happy for everybody compared to being upset and angry about everybody's success and realize you know what when I'm happy more people want to be around me you know and it makes sense so that's pretty much my little video driving from Kaiser to pick up the wife because Super Bowl got me, man. I got gout. I got me some medicine. All right, man. So we're going to go ahead and get the hell out of here. And um, yeah, if you guys need anything, let me know. I want to help you attain your goals, become better, and see a, a perspective that maybe the people around you don't give you. If you have negative people around you, then you're going to have negative thoughts. If you don't have negative people around you, but you don't have people that are pushing positivity to you, then you're not going to be positive. You're going to be whatever you feel you should be. So the people around you is pretty much who you're going to be. And the people around you is what's going to push you to become something. So it's like me. You know, I have friends that talk shit about me. And when it came down to it, like, they don't know me. You know, I, they don't know me. And some, some of the people that talk shit about me don't, even know, don't, don't know me. They don't know what I've been through. That's why I could care less what other people think. Like for example, I'll give you an example. I know somebody in my own circle that talks bad about me and they don't know what I've been through. They have an idea and they spread whatever idea they have to other people that ends up, I don't know, thinking I'm the worst person in the world. But that's fine. Because you think about it, God is, is really cool. You'd be surprised how he brings people to you and takes people away. And just go with the flow, basically. Stay with people that are, are positive with you. Stay with people that want to be with you. Because at the end of the day, you also have to be able to be alone and be happy. Because if you always need to be around a group of people, then it's hard when you don't have those people, right? So also be uh, confident to be alone. You know, sit down at a, at a bench and just watch everybody pass by and chill. That's also good. So yeah, going back to that whole talking shit thing. It is what it is. These people will talk whatever they want to say. And then certain people are going to believe them. And I don't really care if they believe them. Because I don't. They don't pay my bills. They're not my immediate family. They don't know what the hardship I've been through. They're talking what they want to talk and, 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 and spread. Because now what they're doing is they're, they're clearing the field. As I call it. They're clearing the field of the people that shouldn't even be in my life. And if you feel that I'm talking about you, well, probably because you are talking bad about me. And I forgive you because 
I used to hate people. Trust me, people know that's been around me if I don't like somebody, if I hate somebody. I make it known. I'm not, I'm not gonna talk shit behind your back. I'm gonna tell people because I know if that person finds out, I'm gonna know that they found out. And then they have two choices. If I talk bad about you and you heard it and you don't like it, you have two choices. You come at me and say, Mike, did you say this? I'm like, yes, I said that. But this, in my defense, I said that because of this. And you're an adult, you take it for what it is, and then we move forward. You respect the fact that I have thoughts about you based on other things I've, I've read or I've heard, I've seen. Then if I'm wrong, I'll accept it and I'll become um, better because now you've taught me something. But when it comes down to it, people feel like they have to be in a certain group and only be that way. No. I have friends in almost fucking every little anything because I know how to adapt. I know how to become who I am with anybody that's around me because I don't need to conform. I don't need to be in this group only because I feel comfortable in this group because this group is, is basically who is, is, is just, um, I guess you could say, that is comfortable with me. No. <laughs> I could be in any group. Leave in the middle of the street. I'll find a friend. You know, I'll find a five-minute friend, as I call it. So, guys, this video is basically everywhere. But end of the day, I hope you guys learned something from it. And if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, or if you you feel I'm talking about you, then call, call me. Let me know. You'd be surprised. You know, that pissed off Mike that can't be talked to is not really there no more. Who do you have now? Is the one that changed because of this bad boy behind me guy right there he changed my world so when it came down to it it made me a better person and if you are in the the thought process of becoming better uh, and you want to learn and become better and maybe we could learn together and um, build a business I don't know let me know like I said I gotta go I mean park right here in front of my wife's work for like five minutes now and she's waiting so Alright guys, we'll talk soon.